Alright, this is file sharing for Backtrack 5 KDE. Um, first, we're going to make a folder on the desktop. I called it shared. You can call it whatever you want. And we're going to uh, get two things. The first, we're going to get Zamba. I've already installed it, so let me just show you the command how to install it. Apt get install S A M B A. And you're just gonna scroll down, downloading, you know, that good stuff. And once mine's gonna say already I have the latest, you're just gonna say see right here. Already the latest. Or the newest, whatever. Uh, you're just gonna say, you're just gonna drop down, install, and stuff like that. Next thing you're gonna want to get is the the GUI, so you don't have to go edit the the what is it, the Samba config file or something like that. Well, anyway, we're gonna install this apt git install uh, system dash config. That's the configuration GUI. Samba, S A M B A, and I've already installed it, so you're just gonna say the latest. I mean, mine's gonna say the latest. You're just gonna install. Once you install it, we're gonna want to add a a, um, a user to Samba with the password. So I've already done it. So S A B password. That's the Samba password, and we're gonna add the user root. For me, root, your gears are going to be different. Uh, all these commands will be in the bottom below the description. I'm not going further into much detail because this is pretty much it. Once you once you add the user, you're going to go to the start uh, dragon icon, and then you're going to go to system, and you go to click on Samba. If you don't install the system config Samba, this will not show up. Once you install it, you're gonna add it. You're gonna add that where where wherever you place that folder. You're gonna click add. Once you click add, this little dialog is gonna appear. You're gonna browse, hit the browse button, and then you're gonna go. This thing's gonna show up, so you can go. For me, it was on the desktop, so I'm gonna go on the desktop, and I'm gonna click the shared folder. Since I've already added it, I uh, already added it. There's nothing gonna be there, so you're gonna add it. Can say right here. Uh, you're gonna name it whatever name I put uh, visible, and 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 you go to access. You're gonna put the the user that. That you that you only want that user to see, or unless you want everyone else to see, which I'm gonna leave it at root. I'll show you my settings. The printers you can erase that one. You can leave it. I left it. It's not a big deal. You gonna see see what I mean? Once you install it, it's gonna look like this. And then the name's gonna I'm gonna leave it at share. I'm gonna put it visible because I don't want nobody to write on it. If you do, you can put you can click on the right to put a little check mark on the right, like that. I don't want nobody to write on it, so I'm gonna leave it there. And I only want the root to use to uh, be able to see it. So once you get that, we're gonna go over here to Windows and see if it's actually being able to see. Uh, here's my network. I'm on a private network, so I'm gonna turn on discovery sharing. Uh, yours is gonna probably not say this, but if you you put private network and it's shut down or something like that, then you can just click on uh, view network and stuff like that. I'm gonna click no, make network only that I can see it, and it should start adding. This is actually really easy, so. That's it. Oh, I'll pause it here. So you know, there's no waiting. Okay, if it doesn't add it, then just type it in. In this case, it's backtrack because I'll show you. Watch. Let's go back to over here. Have you renamed your 
your backtrack then it'll be that but if you don't rename it then it'll be see 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 where it says root at bit bt it's that bt that that's going to be the name of backtrack so since it's not showing up we're just going to go um, backslash backslash and then we're going to type in bt lowercase uh I think it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you use lowercase or uppercase, it's not going to matter. Same difference. And as you can see, those are the printers that show up, and also the shared folders. And if you added it correctly, you can now go into it. It'll for me because I've already typed in the. Once you type in the the password the username and the password worked for me because I made in Zomba root and once you type in it, the the password for that then it'll it won't ask you again but if you haven't it'll ask you for me it didn't because I was just fiddling around with it a while ago before I made the video so once you get that done it should show up watch I'll make a, a folder over here or make a file and then backtrack. I'm gonna call it Do You See Me Windows? And there you go. Do You See Me Windows? See? Over there. Okay, well, that was this and. I guess you're on your way. Go screw yourself. Later.